Our new robust online editing capabilities eliminate the need for offline software, giving you the freedom to edit documents seamlessly within the platform. The document status panel on the left shows you where your document is in the lifecycle process and allows you to quickly jump between editing options or steps as needed. There are two ways to edit your document in the online editor, either by entering variables or editing the document. You can toggle between these options anytime while editing your document. You can think of the enter variables feature as a power entry mode, quickly navigating through your document to fill in any data or values. The variable summary allows you to identify all necessary fill points with clarity, eliminating the risk of breaking your document. Through the document editor, you can make changes and enter variables directly in the context of your document. The variables are indicated by the yellow arrow. If the arrow is filled in, it means data has been entered. If the arrow is an outline, it means data has not been entered yet. Along the top, you will find the rich text editing options. You can utilize these anywhere within your document to make necessary changes. To make changes within your document, simply click on the text you want to change. From here, you can add text, delete text, or use those rich text features to make detailed changes. You can also click directly in the document to open up the context menu with additional editing options. On the left, you will see some paragraph editing features like locking specific paragraphs or adding comments for collaborators to see. On the right side panel is where all changes will show up. If you are on a multi-seat account, each user's edits or comments will be in a different color. You can see changes from across the entire document or based on specific paragraph. To see paragraph specific changes, click on the paragraph within the document editor. To see all changes within the entire document, click on the X next to the paragraph filters. As the document owner, you have the ability to reject any change. Simply click the X next to the specific change in the right side panel and the change will be removed from the document. To accept, click the check mark next to the change and it will be applied to the document. To see any accepted changes, click the check mark in the right side panel. Along the top, you will find your document toolbar with some helpful options like saving as a custom template or the ability to edit your document offline. If you want to learn more about these features, check out our short tutorial videos on custom templates and editing an agreement offline in Katina. This toolbar is where you can go to edit your document properties if necessary. There is also a preview feature that allows you to preview your document exactly as it will appear before finalization. No more second guessing. This not only saves time and enhances accuracy, but also reduces the possibility of data entry errors. A vertical line will appear in the margin anytime there is a change to the standard AIA text, but not for variable entries. If previewing in full markup, all additions and formatting changes are displayed as underlined and deletions are stricken through within the body of the document. In simple markup, all changes will be represented at the end with an additions and deletions report and marked throughout the body of the document with a vertical line in the margin. The additions and deletions report is segmented into variables and changes to the standard AIA text, allowing you to quickly glance through your modifications. There's also a compare feature. To learn more about how to compare versions of your document, please check out the video on comparing versions in Katina. Finally, you will find the resources button that provides helpful articles, document instructions, and any contextualized support you might need while editing your document.